Hey, uh, just go ahead and be tapping while we start here. So I recently did a video on getting other people to see your point of view. And in that I talked about how some people, maybe not you, but other people, um, get very frustrated when other people take a different point of view and feel compelled to tell the other person how stupid they are or how bad they are for thinking that. And recognizing that we're never going to get anyone to change their mind by telling them how stupid they are. <laughs> so here's the thing is, if you are the sort of person who feels compelled to do that, it's not because you're bad or stupid either. It's just your programming. And uh, you know, that, that programming that we have to feel self-righteous, to feel superior. But that's, like I said, a drug and, uh, you know, it's a temporary high, but there are consequences afterwards. And you deserve better than that. You're more powerful than that. You deserve more joy than that. You deserve to have good feelings that are based on really healthy things rather than things that drive us apart. So let's uh, do some more clearing around that. So. Taking full responsibility for your own well-being. Even though part of me is addicted to feeling superior, I choose to love and accept myself anyway. Even though part of me is addicted to feeling superior, I choose to love and honor myself anyway. Even though part of me is addicted to feeling superior, I really like to feel that I know better. And part of me loves to let other people know that. And part of me also knows that this is not really good for my soul. And even though part of me is addicted to feeling superior, I choose to deeply and completely love, honor, and accept myself. And all these other people in my life who have taught me to react this way. This need to feel superior This need to let others know how much smarter I am. This need to feel that I'm so much smarter than others. This need to feel that I'm better than others. Why on earth would I need this? And whatever's going on in there, choose to clear it. When I really know that I'm good enough, I don't need to make anyone feel small. I may not agree with their opinions, but I don't need to make them feel stupid. All this need to feel that I'm better than others. And it only comes when I'm afraid I'm not good enough. I choose to clear that fear. Clearing it at a cellular level. Clearing it all the way back through my past. back through all these times in my life where I somehow got the message that I wasn't good enough. All this need to defend myself. All this fear. And when others have a different opinion, A lot of fear and frustration comes up. Because if it didn't, I wouldn't care. If someone disagreed with me, 
and it didn't seem like it was consequential. I could just let them think what they think. Without telling them how stupid or evil they might be. But when it's something that matters, something that affects me, I get scared. I'm afraid they're going to take something away from me. This fear that I'm going to lose something. This fear that their opinion, and perhaps how they might vote, is going to cause pain in my life. It's going to mean I'm going to lose somehow. So maybe if I tell them they're stupid, they'll vote the way I want them to. Yeah, right. Or maybe I can inflict enough pain on them that they won't do something I don't want them to do. And that's not very civilized. Hey, but at least I'm not shooting them. Yeah, but causing pain is causing pain. And I don't do that because I'm bad or stupid. But because I'm afraid. And that comes from my programming. And I'm clearing this need to do harm. Clearing all this need to do harm. I'm not a bad person. I don't gratuitously want to do harm. I just want to stop people from doing things that might hurt me. I'm angry at them for having a different opinion that might cause me pain. All this need to feel self-righteous All this need to feel superior, it just comes from fear. And I deserve better. I deserve better ways of feeling good. Because if my pleasure comes at someone else's expense, That's not really good for me. Especially since everything is energy. And we are all connected. So any harm I do to someone else, even if it's just me thinking bad thoughts about them, I'm hurting myself to some extent. And I deserve better. So I'm clearing the fear behind that. I'm clearing the pain behind that. Clearing that pain at a cellular level. and clearing it all the way back through my past. Using this as an opportunity to heal.
And the less I feel compelled to tell people how stupid they are, the more I know that I'm healing. The more I know that I'm strong and healthy. And deep inside I am strong and healthy. Deep inside I'm fearless. And I'm clearing the stuff that gets in the way. Releasing all that pain and fear that I try to cover up with self-righteousness. That's a drug I really don't need. I don't need to feel superior to anyone. I'd much rather help other people to become the best they can be. If my opinion really is right, I'd rather find a way to help others see the light. But that means I've got to believe they can. Letting go of this need to dismiss others. Letting go of this need to write them off as stupid. I'm clearing that fear. I choose to see in each person a magnificent child of God. who is capable of seeing what is best and what is right. And I choose to help them see it. And I choose to do so with love. Changing people's mind with hate. It's just not who I really am. I choose to use love. And I'm using it on myself right now. Allowing myself to love myself right where I am. And the more love I feel, the more I can share. And I choose to share love. in body, mind, and spirit. And take a deep breath. And one more quick thing here. I forgive myself for being afraid. I forgive myself for listening to old programming. I forgive myself for acting on that programming. I was doing the best I could. And I'm loving myself. And I'm getting better and better. I choose to know that I am awesome. body, mind, and spirit. Take a deep breath. Please keep loving yourself more and more. And the more you do so, the more you're just naturally going to treat others with love. And I know it's hard at times, and sometimes we just don't want to, but that's really where our highest joy, our highest peace is going to come from. And when we get to the point where we really treat each other with love, 
We're not going to vote on things that hurt other people. We're going to find what really works for everyone. So thanks for being a part of that.